All right, here we are, Minecraft 1.14. Swords for everyone. So villager test, I want to select this. I want to, uh, how do I back up this world? How do I back up this world? Oh, come on people. Play, select to create, edit, recreate, edit, make backup. Backed up. 1.14 villager test. Oh. Survival mode. 1.13.2. 1. Oh. Ha. <laughs> okay, this is dumb. Um, play selected world. Oh, interesting. Don't forget to back up your world before you load it in this snapshot. Um, this is... We're playing the current version of the game. This is not a snapshot. Okay. Build your test. Back up and load. I don't know where those backups go. I don't really use that functionality. But... Let's see what happens. It's taking a little while. 53%. Oh, and then it jumps to 100. Very good. Okay. Ah. Huh. Well. They seem to have professions. That's good. Um, okay, so let's see what happens. So if I switch back to my thing here. So the first guy was a librarian. Paper for 30. Looting one book for seven. Whoops. Uh, books for 10, compass 11, bookshelf for four. And then mending, depth strider. Whoops. And I traded for all those, so hopefully he keeps them. I like this interface a lot better. Um, and let me just grab some emeralds here because uh, let's yeah, let's 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 make some trades. So, in theory, oh look, he's got the little diamond badge there. So if I go here, he'll... Oh, he shows me. Oh, look, I'll trade you a few different things for those emeralds. Okay. So let's uh, let's uh, buy him out of some stuff. Let's... I want to go do all the trades here with him. Let's get some paper. And uh, grab that. Okay. So let's just walk our way through the trades. Paper. Oh, nice. And it automatically picks up the stuff from your inventory. Nice. Now, if I if I just exit the UI, is it going to put the paper back in my inventory? Yes, it does. Very nice. Okay, so I need some books. I think I have some in here. Let's grab some books. Um, and let's put some paper up there just to be safe. Oh, look, new recipes unlocked. Check your recipe book. We can make a lectern. Interesting. Okay, so now I want to get a looting one book. Okay. And then I want um, some... Sell some books. I want a compass. I want a bookshelf. I want... I don't have any written books. I want a clock. Uh, let's get some glass. That glass looks different. Um, do I have enough? I don't have enough of... Yeah. Uh, get this book. And then I want this book. And give me a name tag. Okay, so now he has been... He's got all his trades open. I don't think he's going to get any new trades. Um, 
which is fine. So let me buy him out of some stuff. Because that should happen, right? If he... Oops. Uh, if he... He can only trade things up to four times. So for instance, glass. Um... Okay, I just traded... F I got five out of him there. But now his glass trade is locked out. Yeah, and he needs to go back to his, his workstation, his lectern, in order to, uh, to do all that, to restock. Okay, so these things, these trades are all still the same. That's uh, that's good. This is encouraging. This is a little different from what I thought. Yeah, and then let's uh, let's trade a bunch of books. He doesn't sound too happy with some of this. Oh, he can't do that. Yeah, he, that sounds like. Uh, why are you bothering me with this? And then this. And then this. Uh-huh. Okay. Cool. So now he got the particles. Okay, so we're all... We're all unlocked. Oh, wait. He doesn't have his name tag. His name tag trade's not a thing anymore? Because I didn't unlock the name tag before. Interesting. Okay, well let's uh let's get some more glass. So it looks like you can trade six times. And so the glass is locked out. So it doesn't have his uh He's got his little diamond thing. Okay, well, I've got all the guys unlocked. Okay, this is a cleric. And these are all the same trades. It's all very good. Um, let's uh, trade some paper. Okay. So now his paper trade is, is locked out. Let's uh, get some bookshelves. Now his bookshelf trade is locked out. Um, name tag. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I need some... Put some of this stuff away. And I need some rotten flesh, which I have some right here. And I need gold, which I have some right here. Hello, Mr. Cleric. Yeah. Let's trade you for that. 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 Okay. So now that's all the trades you can you can get from this guy. Traded them all. Let's, uh... Um... Okay. So I've locked out his, uh, his zombie flesh trade. I've locked out his gold trade. Okay, this guy, another cleric. Uh, let's uh, trade this. And let's go ahead and trade that. And he's got a really good deal on the bottles of enchanting. Okay. 
Uh, Mr. Farmer, let's go get some farmer stuff. Let's put these up here. And I really don't need gold or zombie flesh. Okay, so I've got wheat and carrots and potatoes and pumpkins and melons. Yeah, those are the things you can trade with the farmer. Hello, Mr. Farmer. He's also got the little diamond badge. Oh, wait, let's check this guy. Since I didn't really do anything with him, he's not... He doesn't have a good badge. And he's got a badge, but... Oh, he's shaking his head because he doesn't have anything to trade. He's ashamed because he has no job. Hello, Mr. Farmer. Okay, so let me uh, let me go get a ton of wheat and a ton of potatoes and some carrots and some pumpkins and some melons. I think that's it, right? The rest of the things are for him to buy. Okay, so wheat. Okay. Potatoes and carrots. And let's buy bread. And let's sell pumpkins. And let's buy potato pumpkin pie. And let's sell that. And let's buy apples and cookies and cakes. Okay. This dude is all locked out. Um, hello, Mr. Fletcher. <gasps> Did he lose his profession? He might have. Okay, I'm going to uh, do this. Fletcher, Apprentice Fletcher. Did I not trade at all with this Fletcher? Fletcher, I did not trade with him at all. So he is now unemployed. This nitwit though. So this guy retained his profession. He's got some trades. Let's get some strength. Okay, so that's this is encouraging because I have indeed traded with all of all of my villagers, but I have a task now where I need to go make sure I trade all the trades with them. Although that doesn't seem to make a difference. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have gravel. Okay. He's still an apprentice. I need to do a bunch more trades with him. I need gravel. So let's get gravel. Oh. I'm glad I didn't shoot him. Okay, so he's still an apprentice. Still got the little, like, little copper bronze badge there. Okay, well, this is, uh, this is interesting. So now, the next question then becomes, how do these guys restock? Ah, uh, he's shaking his head because he, I don't have anything he's willing to trade for. So I locked out a couple of his trades. If I got some emeralds, he'd be willing to trade. Okay. Oh, is he up? Is he just sad because we didn't trade? Is that why he's shaking his head? Okay.
Huh. I think he is. Okay. So now, here we go. Time of day is important. Um. Oh. Crops. Look different. Okay, so. Uh. Lectern. Lectern is what these guys use in order to do their work. So now if I I think here's here's what I'm thinking. If I put a lectern behind him here, when it becomes the right time of day, he can restock. Right? He has access to that lectern. This guy I locked him out of the glass, so that's fine. Okay. So what time of day do they restock? Um turning home sleeping wandering. Okay, so we are right now at six thousand, so they're gathering. So if we go to ten thousand They'll go to work. Right? Yeah, let's let's go to set time 10,000. Time set 10,000. Okay, so sun's a little bit farther down. And I'm hoping they will restock. They also work at 2,000? Huh. Working, employed villagers will spend most of the day staying next to their job site blocks. From time to time, they will gather supplies by wandering a short distance away, then returning. Some professions have additional job-specific goals that are part of their work schedule. Huh. Oh, a when a villager can reach his own job site block, it will resupply itself. They can resume, they can res resupply twice a day, morning and evening, even without having a bed or while, even without having a bed or while sitting in a mine cart. A villager can reach its job site block if the block is in any of the eight directly adjacent diagonal block squares horizontally around him at the height of their feet or at the nine blocks above that, below that. A villager can still reach it diagonally when he actually can't see or touch or face the block. Okay, so my understanding, let's uh, time set uh, 10,500. Put him right in the middle of his, of his work time. Oh wait, I didn't put a lectern here. Okay. So, he should have access to that lectern enough to be able to resupply. That's my understanding. What do clerics use as their workstation? Man. Reading workstay. Oh, here we go. Cleric brewing stand. Okay. Um. We get a brewing stand here. And. And put it right here. Let's see if I can get him to unlock. Uh, and then oh, this cleric here, same thing, brewing stand. <clears throat> now, I don't know what impact the uh, not having beds around will have, but I'll have to play around with that next. The farmer uses the composter. 
composter. Oops. Composter. Fletcher, he's unemployed. Let's see if I can get him a uh, an occupation. A Fletcher uses a fletching table. That sounds dirty. Okay, fletching table. Huh. So, <clears throat> let's see here. What profession? Oh, he became a cleric. Why did he become a cleric? Because he saw this brewing stand? <gasps> he became a, a, a cleric. Um, I would like him to be... make him a see if we can make him a sh uh, shepherd so let's make a loom or, or get a loom Oops. a loom and put a loom there <gasps> wait no no, he's still a cleric. Oh. When the head snaps back, I thought he was changing his skin. Fletcher, did I get you your fletching table? You're a nitwit, so you don't matter. And then I'm doing a test there. Oh. Oh, boy. So they're in their work period. In theory, they should be able to unlock or resupply, right? Willingness, breeding, sleeping. So I'm wondering if I need to have beds here simply to make this a village. Job site blocks. If a block is destroyed or broken, its owner becomes jobless but retains its profession. Villagers who have never completed a trade has thus have no experience in their career whose job site is destroyed can lose their job. Villager already has a profession but no job tries to acquire a new job. Okay. Picking up items, sharing food, farming, baby villagers, zombies, lighting, raids, working, employed villagers. From time to time, they will gather supplies by wandering a short distance away and then returning. So, in theory, I could actually have these guys standing on top of their workstations. Schedules. Okay, let's try switching to, like, 2,500. And see if that makes a difference. He hasn't resupplied. Time set, 2,500. What was that? I heard a noise. The farmer resupplied. You're still a cleric, even though I gave you a, something. Yeah, yeah. Ah, stop it. And you resupplied. Oh, gosh. This is good, because this means I can get some string. And... And I can... I can... Level you up. So I guess there's just a 
a chance of them resupplying. I know they can do it a couple times a day. What I'm curious about is if they can do it um, he's still an apprentice so it'll take a long time to, to level these guys up so I wonder how it, how it measures a day oh Still an apprentice. Interesting. Okay, so... Oh, let me get some gravel. Gravel. Uh, gravel, gravel, gravel. <coughs> Oh, he just got particles. He's now a journeyman. And he's got a little gold badge. Okay. And he got new trades. Oh, he got a cheaper... Uh, he got a cheaper... <gasps> string trade. He's got two string trades now. So he got through the... Now he's got, now he's an expert. He got through the journeyman stage super quickly. Okay, so now I've got a crossbow. And I don't want to point this crossbow. Now he's a master. He's got the diamond. So getting them through the apprentices, that's what takes time. You can sell, oh, sell tripwire hooks to them. Oh, and here's cheaper... Wait. Oh, an enchanted crossbow with piercing two. Enchanted bow with power one. Okay. So getting these guys. So these are trades, of course, that are brand spanking new. Huh. You don't have anything. Oh, you unlocked. Wait, he's a novice? Oh, no, no. He changed professions. Farmer unlocked. He, he resupplied. This cleric is not resupplied. This cleric is not resupplied. This librarian has resupplied. No, he's not. Now there's this guy. Interesting. Interesting. So, now I wonder how it counts days, because they can resupply a couple times a day. Um, and I wonder if it literally goes off of the day counter on the F3 screen here, right? So, uh, where would where did that go? Did they move it? Sounds... Oh, that's interesting. Um... Oh. Oh, there at local difficulty it's day zero. So I wonder if we have to go through a night once they resupply. Okay, so I, I this guy has resupplied and locked up again. So he can do it one more he can resupply one more time. Farmer let me get stuff for the farmer. You're still locked. You're still locked. Okay, you're still locked and you're still locked. Um, oh, I, I threw away all the farmer stuff. So let's get wheat. <clears throat> and uh, potatoes. And carrots and um, pumpkins and 
Melons. Those are all the biggies, right? Yeah. And then uh, let's let's duplicate some of these. So I have a feeling we've kind of learned really all we're going to about this for now. Uh, I think we're going to have to, I'm going to have to play around in this test world a little bit more. Let me get this guy all locked up. Some cookies. Get some cookies. Okay. Farmer. Oh, you know what? That's interesting. He's got the little diamond badge. But it doesn't say master up here. Cleric expert. So he's still growing. Cleric, it doesn't have his... Librarian Master. Librarian, it doesn't say Master here. Huh. That's interesting. So, old villagers. Seems like Fletcher Master. So, older villagers might actually be a little bit, uh, might behave a little bit weirdly. Okay. Good. So one thing I wanted to make sure is that they would still behave as villagers and that they would be able to resupply if they were covered up, if they didn't have sky access. Seems to be okay. Seems to be the case. Um, huh. That's good. So the next question I have, and this will be the next episode is how do we make them breed because it's a different situation than it used to be um, oh. So, the breeding is a little bit different in that they need beds nearby, and I need to make sure that they can breed if they don't have sky access. I think it's fine. I think that will work. So, I need to see if I can build a little, like, villager breeder thing, and then you have to make them willing by trading with them, and there's all kinds of other, other things. So, 2,000 is their work, and then they work until 8,000. Oh, okay. So we can, uh, we can time set. Oops. Okay. All right. Well, I've been recording for a while here and I don't know if I'll be able to trim this down into a single episode, but we have learned some stuff. And we have actually observed them restocking and restocking while sitting in minecarts and, and, and having their workstation kind of at their foot here. So I know that works. Um, actually, let me go ahead and do that. So, so we know this works. Huh? 